Is Sex Appeal the best comedy of 2022? Find out here on The Beniverse. Hello, my name is Ben Friedman and welcome to The Beniverse. Today we are talking the newest Hulu release film, Sex Appeal. And this film stars Mika Abdallah as Avery and Jake Short as Larson. The film follows Avery, a brilliant teenager who decides to create an app called Sex Appeal. Get it? It's an app and it's called Sex Appeal. App Eel. Brilliant comedy, isn't it? That's the type of film and comedy we are working with in this movie. But anyway, she designs this app, Sex Appeal, to essentially teach people who are beginners on how to have an intimate relationship. And she enlists her friend Larson to help her basically program the app and give her the data she needs. And this film does not work and it does not work for a multitude of reasons. One, it's a comedy and there's very few laughs. I found myself completely stone faced for a majority of it. The comedy that does happen comes at the expense of characters in a really unflattering light. It is pretty sexist in its tone. It's shallow in its approach. It takes every teen comedy you've ever seen and just takes the bare bones of that and tries to throw it into this movie to make it something appealing to the mass audiences. And in doing so, it is unoriginal. Our main character in Avery is very unlikable. She is essentially they, the creators, they watched The Big Bang Theory and was like, what if Sheldon Cooper was young? Which I guess now saying it is probably the premise of young Sheldon. But this is what if Sheldon was designing an app about sex and he was a female now. That is the type of nuance we are working on in this movie. She is so straight laced and scientific about everything that it doesn't allow her to be a real character. There is nothing smart about this character or premise or anything likable about her. The comedy is all over the place. Sometimes it's crude, sometimes it is overly sexual, sometimes it tries to be a John Hughes comedy with a little bit more lighthearted, sometimes it just tries to go straight up American Pie in its humor. It, there is no consistency the biggest problem is when you don't like this main character of Avery and she makes all the worst decisions that only hurt people in her life. They never address the fact that Avery is really just a terrible person until you get into the third act. And by that, I mean the fact that Avery has a boyfriend and she is basically testing out sex with her one of her closest best friends who is not her boyfriend. She is cheating on her boyfriend the entire time. And her boyfriend's not a jerk or anything like that. He seems to be a normal high schooler. So the whole time she's doing all this, we just are aware that she's cheating on her boyfriend. And it's supposed to be played, I guess, for laughs. But they never, they just ignore that aspect of the movie. So you're just kind of left wondering what's going on. Then it obviously comes back to that. But then there's no resolution of that. You never see the fallout of what happens when her boyfriend finds out that she's cheating on him. In fact, the film doesn't even care to mention that. It just cares about this main character of Larson, who is the person that Avery's hooking up with. And he's not a particularly likable protagonist. He's a little too inept. You never buy this chemistry between him and Avery, which makes the romance in this movie fall flat. And he's just so timid and quiet that you just don't know anything about his character and don't have any real attachment or emotion to him. So when he's being basically used by Avery, you just don't really care. And that's the biggest problem with this movie. I did not are care. some redeeming points of sex appeal. And that's largely in its third act. Finale almost tells something of an interesting story. And instead of going the typical cliched high school route, it tries to do something more. The issue with it is that you don't like these two characters and the decision that's supposed to be made at the end of the film, act of kindness, yet you just know it's a bad idea and it never comes back up again and it never has resolution. And you just know the kindness is going to backfire and kind of just continues to show how terrible of a person Avery is. So while it's supposed to be something new, and original in a teen comedy, it completely misses the mark. 
with its finale as well, even though I appreciated what they were trying to do. Sex Appeal, not a good movie. But let me know in the comments if you saw this movie, if you liked it, if you didn't, what you thought of it, and what are some of your favorite teen comedies. I probably have to go with Mean Girl from the 2000s. If I am counting Hughes, then it's definitely Ferris Bueller's Day Off. But anyway, thanks for listening, guys. Take care and make sure to check out Ben Brand's see a movie. Uh, this week's episode was on Mel Brooks' Blazing Saddles. So thanks for listening. Take care. Bye-bye.